semiconductor shortage, why the world is facing a technology cliff. Let's begin this by first talking about where exactly are semiconductors used. The answer is in practically every technology. From automobiles to gaming consoles, computers, and all sorts of electronics, everything has these tiny silicon chips. During the past year, the world has completely gone topsy-turvy on its axis with pandemic panics and hoarding escapades to the extreme number of layoffs hiking up the unemployment rates. Sadly, with the emergence of COVID-19, the world has moved back in time with low economic productivities and worldwide shortages on almost every product. Some of the major contributing reasons for semiconductor shortages. 1. COVID-19 Global Pandemic with everyone working from home, the demand for computers and gadgets has gone up like never before. According to a research firm, Canalys, personal computer purchases have gone by 11% in the past year, the highest growth in the last decade. To meet such huge demand, the tech industry has tried its best to keep up, but when the whole world is under lockdown and work capacities are lowered to 50%, such shortages are inevitable. 2. US-China Feud there's no love lost between ex-president Donald Trump and the ever-growing nation of China. Due to the sanctions imposed by Trump on Chinese companies such as Huawei, a trade war began between the two nations. America imposed restrictions on the Semiconductor Manufacturing International SMIC, the biggest foundry based in China, which in turn made it almost impossible for China to sell its final products to companies affiliated with the United States. However, this power move led to stockpiling of semiconductor chips, with many Chinese companies purchasing huge orders from Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC, which made these chips harder to come by. Companies like Toyota and Huawei were major contributors who foresaw this shortage crisis and decided to hoard and ride out the storm. 3. The disastrous fire at the Japanese factory. As if the global pandemic wasn't enough of a hindrance, in July a fire broke out at a Japanese company that manufactured special fiberglass which was used for printed circuit boards. To top things off, another fire in October erupted at a Japanese plant belonging to Asahi Keisei Micro Devices and rendered catastrophic results to their production of advanced sensing devices used in automotive and other industries. 4. Restricted travel. With strict quarantines and travel bans, getting things moving hasn't been a piece of cake at all. With constrained ocean freight from China, 7% of freight is stuck at the Chinese ports, the world has been dealing with a lot of missed goods which led exporters to opt for the expensive air freight. This has caused not only a surge in prices but the value of various products started a vicious cycle of everything being sold at almost double its costs. However, with the availability of vaccines growing, it is anticipated that life will resume its usual pace, and shortages and quarantines will be a thing of the past. Tech giants and car manufacturers will soon get their hands on their prized semiconductors soon enough. Now that Biden has taken over the US presidency, he has signed an executive order to investigate this semiconductor dilemma seriously.